hello friends welcome back to our youtube channel in this video i would be explaining you how you can analyze and design an isolated footing in stat pro so guys let's start with our topic of today i'll go to new projects then i will select my space and selecting my uh, unit system as meter and kilonewton Uh, I would use add beams so I will land up on my default geometry grid system I would change my grid from XY plane to XZ plane now I will make a simple G plus 2 story building or we can say a G plus 2 story model and then we will be modeling our isolated footing and we will design those isolated fitting so now guys let's start with our geometry so this will be our first point this will be a second point and this will be a third point similarly I'll make another point here I'll make another point here okay then okay so let's assume this is our plan uh, we can increase this one also I'll do control C control V 5 meters to my X okay then I'll add it I'll, this is my plinth level so I would add all the beams okay so now this this is my framing plan simple G plus 2 building so this is my plinth level now what I will do I will select a control a I will do I will select the full beams and I would do the translation repeat so let's assume 4 meter is my height and I'll go up to 2 story okay then I will link the floors so this is my ground level this is my first level this is my second level so this is the model that we have created now what I will do I will select all the nodes all these nodes and I will do again translation repeat in y direction since our foundation will be below the ground level so let's say our foundation depth is 1.5 let's say our foundation depth is minus 2 meter okay I will link those steps so this is a simple frame of our model right now what I will do I will be now modeling the plate elements let's say our footing is of size 2 by 2 meter so I will be selecting this node then I will do copy paste use copy paste command so uh, control C control V so in next direction 1 meter 1 meter so again control C control V minus 1 meter now I'll do I'll do this control C control V my in Z direction minus 1 meter similarly in Z direction plus 1 meter so I'll get the outer uh, nodes of my plate element now I will make a plate right so this one is my plate now I what I will do I select the plate and mesh it so that I can make finite elements from it so this is 2 meter this is 2 meter so let's divide it into four parts okay Okay, so each element is of size 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 now what I will do is I will I will be selecting the plates and I will copy it I will select my reference point as this one center of my column so I will select it here and I will be pasting it everywhere So 
so this is my geometry and these are the isolated footing now what I will do I will assign the property to my beams and columns and foundation plates so first I will assign my rectangular columns of size 400 by 400 select concrete now I'll define rectangular beams 500 meter, 500 mm depth and 300 mm width I'll add it I will also assign the thickness of my foundation let's assume that our foundation is of depth 200, 250 mm. Now I'll assign it. Assign to columns. I'll select beam parallel to Y. I'll assign the columns. Now what I will do? I assign the beams. I'll select beam parallel to X. I'll select beam parallel to Z. So I'll assign the beams. Now what I'll do? I'll assign the plates. So this now we have assigned all the properties to our model. Let's have a look at the 3D of it. It will look like this. So control one, control two, control three. It will be like this. Now let's select control zero for our line view. Now what I will do, I will be assigning supports since uh, this is an isolated footing it will be resting over the soil i mean pcc then soil here we will not be assigning any fixed or pin support we will since there is soil so we will have some subgrade modulus uh, modulus of subgrade reaction for that particular soil this is from je balls foundation analysis and design book so you can refer that one it, is, it has given us modulus of sub, uh, ranges of modulus of subgrade reaction. So for loose sand, it is saying 4,800 to 16,000. And for medium dense sand, it is saying 9,600 to uh, 80,000. So let's select our uh, soil as loose sand. So I'll be inputting modulus of subgrade reaction as 4,800. Okay. This is my, I will go to foundation, then I will select plate mat and I would be, this will be Y only and modulus will be 4800. Okay, I will add it. Now, now I will be assigning it to my plates. I will select the plates and I will assign those. So our, uh, our supports has been assigned. Or modulus uh, or subgrade reaction has been assigned to the plates. Now what I will do? I will be assigning the loads. So now let's assign the loads. First load, let's take dead load. So in dead load, first is self weight. I'll be assigning that. And the second one will be of our slab load. So let's go to floor load and assign our load here My, uh, the slab is, let's say the slab is of thickness 150 mm so uh, this load will be coming out to be 3.75 so the range will be y range uh, our first floor it is at a height of 4 meter so i'll be quoting inputting 4 meter i would not be inputting any x range or z range because i have to apply all over my floor on whole floors okay so i'll add it now again at 8 meter this is my 8 meter so I'll add it now again at 12 meter so I'll add it so you can see this is the floor load applied at 4 meter this is the floor load applied at 8 meter this is the slab load applied at 12 meter now I'll assign self weight control A Select a geometry cursor, control A, select to assign to selected beams and plates. Okay, my slab load is assigned. Now what I will do, I will be adding one more load, SIDL, superimposed dead load, which SIDL to our model. In SIDL, I will be taking floor finish, which is also a floor load, 
let's assume a floor finish our floor finish to be 100 mm thick so it is coming out to be 2.4 0 0.1 into 2.4 so 4 meter same way as we have applied a slab load I'll be applying this 8 meter and 12 meter okay it will be minus I forgot to put minus here uh, since you didn't put minus here the load is po uh, pointing in upward direction okay so I have to reverse it can reverse it by putting minus sign here now one more load will be there in SIDL that will be our wall load uh, we can assume uh, our wall to be block masonry or brick masonry let's assume our wall thickness to be 200 uh, 230 mm into 4 meter is our height so the clear height will be roughly around 3.5 meter into uh, let's assume as brick masonry so it will be 20 so the load is coming out to be 16 kilonewton per meter so I will be applying this load on the member as UDL 16.1 in global y direction okay so i'll be selecting these beams okay i will selecting these beams these beams these beams i'll apply wall load here i'll assign i'll be assigning to the beams okay so this is my wall load applied i have not considered doors and windows here so now we can also apply parapet load here uh, you can calculate it also and apply it so now let's apply another load that is our live load so I'll be adding one more load to it live load and similarly let's assume that we have applied a live load of 3.75 meter a uh, kilonewton per meter on our floors I'll add it I've also I've made one mistake here what is it can you guess I haven't applied I've applied the load in positive direction so I'll change it again so now I will make a simple load combination of these three loads with these three loads okay I can also auto generate it but uh, let's make a simple load combination of dead load SIDL and live load considering factor as one you can uh, change the factor as per the codal requirement from here okay now I added a simple load combination for load combination uh, I will be making one different video in the coming weeks so guys now we have uh, applied all the loads on our building now what we will do is we'll go to our analysis command and add it now we will be running our analysis so you can see that our analysis is run we can go to post processing now I'll be selecting only one load combination okay it will be giving me all the things this is my deflection diagram it is sinking downward since we have soil there we have put a subgrade modulus it is sinking downward and now this is my moment diagram this is my axial force diagram this is my shear force diagram now we will what we will do this since we are uh, analyzing and designing our foundation what parameters we have to check the basic parameter that we need to check is the safe bearing capacity of soil since we have assumed our soil to be sandy so I'll go to the same book that is J uh, written by J.E. Balls and I'll be find, finding what is the safe bearing capacity this book has provided for 
sand so this is the uh, safe bearing capacity based on building codes so this codes are basically from america so let's follow this ubc i'll be assuming the safe bearing capacity for sandy soil it ranges from 200 kpa to 300 kpa okay so let's assume our safe bearing capacity to be 200 kilonewton per meter square now we will go back to our model and we will check what is our base pressure so i'll go to plate stresses i will go to base pressure here and i will be seeing what is my base pressure here so we can see that our minimum base pressure is 193 or maximum base pressure is 306 so what this tell guys this tell guys that our soil is not that good and our footings are not passing they are failing in base pressure check since our bearing capacity is only 200 so what what we can do is we can increase the size of the footing guys now i will not be doing that one in this lecture you can increase the size by yourself and check it you can see the contour diagrams of base pressure now what we will be doing is we will be designing it in the earlier video i have explained you how to design the plate models okay i have explained three methods first is you you have analyzed your model and you can just extract the forces from here your moments from here moments and shear force from here and you can use your spreadsheet or you can manually design those footings now the second method is by using design command okay we will be using design command now i will define the parameters uh, let's uh, let's first select concrete and a code as is456 we'll define the parameters clear cover as 0 0.5 0 0.05 50 mm clear cover add it grade of concrete as 30 add it and grade of seal as 500 add it now i'll be using i'll be designing our element so i will select design element i'll add it i'll be assigning this to our view okay see the results concrete design so this is the reinforcement that it is providing and I also in the previous video I've also explained you the third method that is the advanced slab design we can also check our reinforcement in foundation through that advanced slab design so with this I will conclude my lecture here so guys for more videos on stat please go through the link given below in the description box if you do like my videos please like share and subscribe also hit the bell icon for the latest videos thank you